and welcome to my channel this is Perlene and today I'm coming to you with a testimony okay so ha huh, this is a testimony something that happened in 2019 you know sometimes we testify at church but there's not a lot of people at church and sometimes the, the testimony that you have is for more people but if you, we just do it at church not, not a lot of people will be reached and a lot of people will not understand some weapons that needs to be used for different situations, you know, and how things work in the spiritual realm. So today I'm coming to you with my testimony of how God turned a serious situation around for me through midnight prayers. So if you're interested in watching and knowing what happened, keep watching and if that's something that you really like please don't forget to leave me a comment down below like just to encourage the page and also subscribe why not so let's start okay so back in 2019 2019 was a year where spiritually god was doing a lot in my life there was a lot of cleansing to do there was a lot of deliverance and for many years the enemy has been stealing from me in the dreams and stuff like this but this particular 2019 god was led me to do like and during the whole year i was fasting and praying seven days every month right so the fasting was going on but like at my job for some reason the oppression at my job was that's where the enemy was really, really, really attacking me seriously. Like, I pray, right? But it's the attacking there to discourage me. But it was going on for like every month. I was going to work, but I wasn't happy. I was going to work, but I was oppressed. I was like, what is going on? So, you know, so I kept fasting. I kept praying. But the testimony I'm going to tell you is when I got to the, the month of September, unknown of me, um, people like my manager and my controller was they were you know planning on firing me you know and i knew it wasn't natural it wasn't something that it's not it wasn't them it was spiritual right so how did i know that they were trying to do that that's really the most important part so pay attention i'm someone that the holy spirit usually when he wants to tell me something i can feel the signal in my spirit so my spirit is not at ease it's like it's like God is trying to make me understand that something bad is coming, that I have to wake up and pray seriously, right? So September, mid-September 2019, I'm just home, right? And I feel that thing again, and it was strong, right? The first day was strong, but um, that first day I was like, Father, what's going on? It's like, I feel the signal, that signal that you usually send me when something bad is coming. So what is happening? What is going to happen, right? So when it's like this, I'm not focused. You are talking to me. I cannot even hear you because I'm really trying to connect my spirit to the spirit of God to, to, to get the message, right? So I'm there trying to understand. And guess what? The enemy is so, like, it will always try to put you, make you um, lose what God is trying to tell you, right? Like something happened and someone called me and they told me something. And I really thought that that's what, God was trying to tell me and something in my spirit wasn't like, because usually when I get the message, my spirit goes like, I, I don't have the signal anymore. It's just top. So after that, the signal was still very strong. So I understand that I understood at that moment that it was like a distraction from the enemy, that the enemy was trying to make me think that that was the problem. That was the thing that was, that God was trying to tell me when in reality, it wasn't that thing. So I, I still like the signal was still strong for the whole week. I couldn't sleep when I have that. I can't sleep. It's like my spirit is so awake. I can't sleep. The signal went on and I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? So I kept going to work. I kept doing what I was supposed to do coming home. Still the oppression, but it wasn't like something crazy, right? Then it became so strong that that week on Saturday, I was in the car with my son, but I couldn't even focus. I was like, God is trying to, I was telling him, God is trying to tell me something. I've been telling him all week long that God is trying to tell me something. I don't know. I can't capture, I can't capture the message. And that Saturday I prayed. I started praying in tongues. 
start started praying in tongues. I know a lot of people don't believe in speaking in tongues, but I'm I have the I have that gift of the spirit. So since I've, I've been baptized with the Holy Spirit, I received the 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 speaking in tongues. So I speak in tongues. I started praying in tongues, speaking in tongues, praying in tongues. So, you know, I pray and I'm, I'm I'm in the car driving. I'm in the car. We are going to to see someone and everything. But I'm, I've been speaking in tongues. Father, show me. Holy Spirit, show me. Holy Spirit, reveal to me. Reveal to me what's going on. What is coming? Talk, tell me so I can pray. Tell me. Because, you know, if you don't know what he's trying to tell you, how can you pray? Because your prayer needs to be focused so that that thing cannot, will not, will not uh, destroy you. You understand what I'm saying? So that Saturday... After all this prayer, even going to bed, I said, Father, please. I started praying, 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 and I went to bed. And around three, finally, I got the dream. Because that's how God usually speaks to me. He speaks to me a, a lot uh, of different ways, but the main channel is by my dreams. And I can recognize when it's from God and when it's not from God, when it's like... Some dreams are not from God, but some of them are messages, clear messages from God. So I was like, okay, I slept and God showed me finally. I was, when I woke up, I was like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for showing me. And it was something related to my job. He showed me the plan. They were planning on firing me. They, they, he showed me everything in the dream. So I, I knew what was happening now, but I didn't know what to do, right? So I told you that that 2019, God made me fast. Uh, the beginning of, of the of each month seven days right for deliverance there was a lot to be cleansed in my life and that that day when he gave me the the revelation i think it was early morning on september 30th so i'm supposed to start my fast the next day on monday so i tell one of my friends the dreams and she's like i know she prayed for me as well and i went uh home and the next day i started my fast and when I got to work, let me tell you, everything I saw in the dream was happening in front of me. The way I've never seen my manager before, it's like the devil was incarnated in her that day. I looked at that woman and I was like, no way. The day was the worst day of my life. And I understood that if I didn't do any something, I was going to get fired that week. You understand? So that's when I, when I finished work, I called my mom. I said, and I will need prayers. I need prayers this is what's going on. God showed me this. I need prayers. I need like backup. And I went home. I spoke to another one of my friends and we were talking about everything. And I explained to him the situation and everything. And he told me like the, the Lord used his mouth to tell me, to, uh, to tell me the weapon that I have to use. So he was like, ah, you already know what to do. You have to do fall and die. <laughs> Fall and die is like, basically, it's a, it's a warfare prayer. It means you have to go against the powers that are that are motivating your boss to do what you are doing. You are not going against your boss. You are not going against anybody in your job. You are going against the power. Because when you win the, 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 the battle spiritually in the physical, everything will be done. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. And I was like, hey, I have to. So I was just excited. And I put my alarm on my phone for midnight because midnight prayers let me tell you when you want to fight for your destiny when you need something serious to happen when you need something to happen in your life use the weapon of midnight prayer and know exactly why you are praying otherwise you will you will not be motivated and finish the thing you have to know why you are doing that right so i woke up that day at midnight and i prayed like my life depended on it i prayed seriously for one hour, for one and a half hours, and I went to sleep. When I went to sleep, the next day I was still fasting. I was I was praying and praying and doing my um my my fast. I was still fasting. I was praying in tongues until I got to the job, and I I get there. I find emails that is, that my manager sent me the night before. They were on it. The the plan was hard to work, right? So she sent me emails, and she was like. Oh, why is this off? Why is this off? Why is this off? I was like, I looked up to God and I said, Father, this is just you. I can't fight this battle. This is your battle. And I left it into God's hands and I started looking for what was wrong and trying to understand. So finally I go and I look. It wasn't wrong, right? The only thing was $25. And this is something that I was supposed to delete and I forgot to go back to delete. So it wasn't really a big deal, but they were trying to make it a big deal so much that when I got to her office and I started to explain to her, like, um, oh, you know, 
this is not wrong. No, 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 no. So she's like, she was confused. Let me tell you, God put confusion on that woman. She started doing the calculation over and over and over. It doesn't work. Oh, it's just $25 that is off. Hey! Hey! She was like, she was confused. So she started talking about something else. And I'm like, yes, I already done that. I just need five minutes and finish up. And she was like, okay, just go tell her. She was talking about my, my other boss. So I told the, the other boss and I finished what she, they wanted me to do. That was too funny. So after that, the day went smoothly. I went home. I, I get home. I do my second night of waking up at midnight and praying again. Like my life was depending on it. I prayed like I never prayed before because it needed to be. Hey, that warfare was serious. Because I was like, uh-uh, nobody will be able to fire me from that job. Because you didn't put me that job, you cannot remove me from that job. God is going, when the time is right, when I have to leave, I will leave myself. You cannot fire me. That was my, I prayed and I can't solve the pain of the enemy. And then I went back home and uh, back to work the next day. It was already starting to become like smoother. There wasn't any more, you know, I could feel the atmosphere. The spiritual atmosphere was getting very clear. And then that day, there wasn't that much trouble. I went home. I did the third night of praying at midnight and I went back to work on four, day four. Everything was smooth. Everything. Let me tell you, everything. All the plans fell. It didn't work. They were not able to fire me. And, um, and then I went home day four, I wanted to wake up at midnight and I felt in my spirit that it is done. You can sleep now. So I went to sleep and yeah, so that's how God gave me the victory for that battle. And I didn't get fired. And let me tell you how I know this is my prayer that worked because some, it, it was, this one happened September, uh, October, right? And I was praying as well that she would give me because I needed to take off in December. But with everything going on, I didn't give my my uh, leave request, right? And I did it, I did it like in December. And she was like, oh, you should have given it to me before because everybody already planned and everything. But I was so calm. She kept it to the last day and she gave it to me and she approved it. Let me tell you, God is powerful. I was so calm because I knew God was already in control. With those prayers that I did that night, I knew everything was done. And after that, a lot of more testimonies came. That, that that place became a peaceful place for me to work. No more oppression, no more nonsense. It was calm. I enjoyed going to work because that was how, that what I was praying for. All those nonsense going on, it, it just stopped because God fought this battle for me. And I had to wake up. I had to be sensitive to the Spirit of God to know what to pray for, how to pray. And that's what gave me the victory. So I wanted to give you that testimony. First of all, I, I wanted to tell you, how do I know that it was God? Because some people, skeptical people will say, oh, maybe it was just a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. You pray, so things happen. The same way you talk, you speak, and things come to existence, that's the same way you pray. And that's why prayer is so powerful. This is the word of, your word, your word, it's, your word can create. Your word can do stuff for you. That's why you pray. You open your mouth and you pray. You declare stuff. And you, 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 you call things that, that, that do not exist. To manifestation that's your mouth the mouth is very powerful don't play with your mouth but especially midnight prayer is when you have to contend for your destiny when you have to contend for things that are not working in your life it's like nothing is working you are not the only one on this earth why is it that you are the only one struggling to get stuff there's something going on you have to wake up or oh, wake up and pray seriously for your destiny for your life to turn around you to be blessed like jacob contended for his destiny like Jabez pray for, for, for God to, to bless him. You need to pray. You know, some stuff is not a joke. It's real. Spiritual warfare is real. So it was, this happened in October, right? The beginning of, of, of October, right? December. I have another coworker that got fired. And I saw the process. Like God wanted to show me what happened in three days. They started doing, and I could see the move. I could see them talking between themselves. That time I was there. I saw it because it wasn't me, right? And I saw it. And that man didn't escape and he got fired. But me, I escaped and I was there until I decided to leave. I was the one who gave my resignation letter to leave that place. Nobody fired me. That's what God can do when you pray. And I wanted to give you that testimony to encourage you. Take your spiritual life serious. Because God speaks. Because the Holy Spirit will be able to warn you when things are coming. He will give you the direction. He will show you the way. So that when 
it's time to fight. You know what, what he wants you to do. You will know clearly what is going on. You will know it. And you'll be able to fight and get the victory. So be encouraged. And I hope this testimony was a blessing to you. Until next time, please take care. Bye-bye.